Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be talking about my tips and my tricks for my no buy, what's been working for me, and how I have kept on my no buy. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm just gonna throw that out there because I really want to buy makeup. Okay, so I do have as always, notes, because that's how I roll. I need my notes. I can't help it. I need them. So the first one is have a specific reason for going on a no buy. Um, don't just do it because others are doing a no buy. Like I did one, I tried to do one a few months ago and it just wasn't working. I was more doing it because, oh, everyone else is doing one. I should do it. It did not work. I had really no reason for a no buy at that time. It didn't work. Like, let's be real. Did not work. Um, my reason for my no buy right now is because I just need to become more acquainted with what I have in my collection instead of just purchasing a ton of items um, just because they are popular or they just came out and I want to be on trend with the things that are new. Yeah, so I kind of, I kind of changed that. So really what I'm saying here is go into it with either there's a financial reason to do a no buy, which is totally fine. Um, there is some underlying thing. You either have way too much makeup, you're trying to figure out what's working for you, you're just trying to figure out what your exact makeup style is or how the products you have in your collection are really working for you or not working for you. Um, you just need a break from trying to keep up with all of the items coming out. Like, in all honesty, it was kind of liberating not really looking at a lot of the sales and things going on or really knowing what's coming out um, as far as new things. And when I did look to see what was coming out, I haven't been really too impressed. So it's been kind of easy right now for me to be on a no-buy. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera. Set rules for your no buy. Are you just doing makeup items? Are you just doing skincare items? Are you doing everything beauty? Are you doing everything inclusive? Meaning that hair products, skincare, makeup, clothing. Like how extensive is your no buy? My no buy for me was just makeup. Meaning I could not pick up a makeup item at all through my no buy. Mind you, my no buy is not over yet. <laughs> um, how long do you want your no buy to last? Some people, and I'm amazed at people who can go months and months on a no buy. That is impressive and I applaud you. Like seriously, that's amazing. Mine is just a month. I wanted to do one and just kind of see um, what products I'm really reaching for, what products I was wishing I had more in my collection, what I really don't need more of. And it's kind of opened my eyes to what I have in my collection. A no buy can be anywhere from a few weeks, a month, several months, a year. It really depends on what your no buy goals are. Now with that, set goals for your no buy. This is different than the reason you're on your no buy, this is goals and things you want to achieve through your no buy. Have a goal in mind. With your no buy, that, with your no buy, and this is different from just not buying products for your selected period of time. So, um, have a goal like by such and such a time, I want to have used this much of my collection up or I want to have gotten more acquainted with this many products in my collection. And really find those old loves and bring them back is kind of what I am hitting at with this one. And my goals throughout this were definitely to get more acquainted with makeup products, to really use the products that I'm trying to project pan through this month as well as incorporating some stuff that have just been sitting in my collection being neglected. Focus on what you have in your collection that you love. If you focus on the products that you love in your collection and you focus on those items specifically, it, you are going to be less likely to go out and purchase. And that is really um, what I found for myself. The more that I focused on my love of my Modern Renaissance palette, my Carity palette, 
and things like that, the less I was like, oh, I need this palette. Oh, I need that palette. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. It really made me kind of go, I really love these palettes. Why am I not using them even more than I already do? So, you know, we all have our favorite products and that are in our collection. Um, use those products during your no buy. Like seriously, that has been the best thing I've done. Find a way to be happy with what you have. And I think that's kind of what a no buy does. It does kind of force you to be happy with what you have in your collection and to use those items up or to just use those items. You don't even have to use them up during your no buy. But I've also found that pairing it with a project pan has been really helpful. When tempted, think back to your goals and your reason for your no buy. I wrote this down and I actually kept it on the stand that I used to film so that every time I would film, I would see the reason I'm on my no buy and my goals for my no buy because that has honestly helped a lot, like setting specific goals and a specific reason for doing my no buy. And that is one thing that I want to drive home is that you should really have a reason and a goal. And I don't think you should just do no buys because you're feeling pressured because everyone else is doing one. It should really be right for you at that time. And it shouldn't be something that you're like, oh, I have to do this because so-and-so is doing it. Or, which is kind of how I felt in the beginning with YouTube and watching a lot of people who are more on the anti-consumerist kind of thing or being less consuming, buying less makeup, having smaller collections. They would do no buys all the time. And sometimes I felt like, oh, should I be doing this too? Maybe I should. I'm just going to do it because so-and-so is doing it. And that's really not going to work. You have to have a specific reason for going on a no buy and really set goals for yourself. Maybe you're trying to save up for a super expensive palette so you need to go on a no buy. Maybe you're having some financial things and you need to go on a no buy. Maybe you're just trying to be like me and get more acquainted with the makeup that you have in your collection It, you know, and things like that. It's also a fun challenge. If you look at it that way and you look at it as I'm doing this for a specific reason, I think that helps a lot. Well, I hope that this helped you guys out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you again and bye!